In this video, we will take a look at finding even consecutive integers. We are told that the sum of three consecutive even integers is 246. Notice we're talking about consecutive even integers, three of them. So let's call them the first, second, and third unofficially. And while we don't know the first integer, we'll represent that with x, we do know the second and third are related to that because they are consecutive even integers. Consecutive even integers are even numbers one after the other, like 4, 6, and 8. Notice the space between these integers is 2. So to move to the next integer, we need to add that space to move us over that much on the number line. Add 2 to get to the second integer, and add 2 more, or 2 plus 2 is 4, to get to our third integer. If we had 4 or 5 integers in the problem, we would do x plus 6, x plus 8, x plus 10, and so on, until we filled all the required problems. This one asks us to strictly find the sum of the integers. Sum means we add them together. x plus x plus x is 3 x's. Plus 2 plus 4 is 6. And we're told the sum is 246. Is is represented by equals 246. We now have a two-step equation, which we can quickly solve to find that first integer, x. Subtracting 6 from both sides tells us that 3x is equal to 240. And then finally, dividing both sides by 3 tells us that x is equal to 80. The first integer is 80, x. The second integer is x plus 2, or 80 plus 2, which is 82. The third integer is x plus 4, 80 plus 4 is 84. And you notice now we have three consecutive even integers, 80, 82, and 84, whose sum is 246. By clearly identifying the three integers, and using the information in the problem, we were able to quickly make an equation we could solve to find our numbers. Be sure once you find x, you also identify the other two numbers.